Because you see, what happens in Virginia will in large part determine what happens in 2022, 2024, and on. Well, there it is. Let's ask Barney Frank what's next for the Democratic Party. Uh, he's a former Democratic congressman of Massachusetts. Barney, good to see you. Congressman, thanks so much for coming back Hi. on here. Harris, as you saw, we just played it, knew the importance of Virginia's outcome and its impact on the midterms 2024. What's going to happen now with the Dems? Well, it is very important, although obviously the vice president was being hyperbolic, which is the uh, occupational disease of campaigning politicians. Um, I think what will happen in 22 and uh, 24 depends on what happens in the interim. Uh, I, I draw two lessons from this for Democrats. <clears throat> First, uh, it is important to get some things done. But this is a pattern that we've seen. Every Democratic president in the last 30 years, Clinton, Obama, has uh, won and then had a disastrous midterm. Uh, we hope to avoid that with Biden. But in the, there's one difference. In the cases of Clinton and Obama, the problem was people didn't like what they said they were going to do. Health care was a problem in both cases. Here, I think it's different and, and more promising if we handle it well. That is... I think a lot of the anger at Biden is not about what he plans to do, but about the fact that he hasn't been able to do it. Uh, there's a lot of left-wing dissatisfaction and, and some general dissatisfaction. That is, I think, and I, I believe COVID was a big mood changer in people's uh, views about how active they want the government to be. I think a lot of what he's proposed is popular. And uh, if the Democrats are not able to get these things passed, the, the uh, transportation bill and mo much of the social bill, then it will be a total disaster. If they get them passed, uh, that's more uncertain. The other thing, though, and the other lesson that I draft, draw is this. We have got to stand up and make it clear, the great majority of Democrats, that we do not agree with the uh, most militant left of our party. Mm -hmm. We are getting hurt politically because people think and associate us with defunding the police and ending all private health insurance. Those are not on our agenda. Nothing is being done in Congress to advance them. But there's this dynamic. People don't like to differ with their allies. You know, you get credit if you're a politician. I'll stand up to my enemies. Well, that's great. It helps your fundraising. Standing up to your friends when they're wrong is what finds courage. And too many Democrats the overwhelming majority of whom disagree with this militant left agenda haven't said so. So people associate us with that. Well, that, I mean, that's, that's what, all due respect, that's what happened in Virginia for the governor's race. Uh, Terry McCollum yeah. literally made one statement saying parents shouldn't uh, have uh, authority over what is being taught in the classrooms. And he was done. Exactly. That was a terribly stupid thing to say. I've said terribly stupid things myself, so I feel justified in, in saying that. But that... Is, and I, the reason he said it, I think, is that he's sort of trying to uh, accommodate our left. Uh, as, as you, and it just gets carried away. Yeah. Well, I so got to go because I'm out of time with you. But but again, the, the, the other side is finally acknowledging that at least we've seen some segments on other cable news networks saying perhaps some have gone to left. Perhaps we need to listen to other uh, viewpoints out there. Um, interesting time. A wake up call for Democrats. Barney Frank joining us live. Barney, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.